Okay, so you think you're a responsible developer because you write well-documented migrations for your database schema. But what happens when one of your migrations is bad? Normal database migrations, the ones that you run to get your database into the correct state for your application, those are called up migrations. They take your database from the old out of date state into the new proper working state. Now, to be fair, a lot of engineering organizations get away just fine without writing down migrations at all. They just move forward and in the event of something going wrong with an up migration, they just roll out another up migration that fixes it. And this really can work, especially if you're on a small team. But as team size and application complexity grows, you usually want some more safeguards in place. In particular, you probably want the ability to roll back a change when something goes wrong. Now, it's always easy to roll back code changes. Just go back to the last git commit and deploy that version. But databases are a little trickier. Say you deploy code that doesn't need a bio column anymore. So you run an up migration that drops that column. Then 10 minutes later, you realize there's a bug in the code. So you need to go back to the old version of the application that requires that bio column. You can't just revert the code anymore because now it's gonna break because the bio column is gone. So that's where down migrations come in. The idea is that each time you write an up migration, you also write a down migration that can be used to undo it. So if the up migration removes a bio column, the associated down migration re-adds it. If an up migration creates a notifications table, then its down migration removes it. The down migration should always be the inverse of the up migration and it's really only used in the case of failure or a rollback. Now, it's very important to remember that while down migrations can fix the schema of a database so that the code will work, they usually aren't written in a way that will actually recover the lost data. In other words, we can add that bio column back but all those user bios aren't gonna be there anymore. They're just gonna be blank. So the code will still work in the sense that the queries aren't gonna throw errors, but the data won't be there. So to solve those problems, you need a backup strategy that you can go pull that old data from, but that's another topic.